Hello, beta testers. <laughs> to some, eating this sandwich apparently signals homophobia. To some, playing this game apparently signals transphobia. Now, in the ongoing war on fun, the woke Western gaming industry apparently considers the phrase leave children alone anti-LGBT. This phrase alone was enough to get a skin of content creator Nick Merckx pulled from the Call of Duty marketplace. Woke publications like IGN claim Nick Merckx's comments are anti-LGBT, so I ask you, Observe this comment. In response to parents fighting because a school board desperately needs Pride Month to be overrepresented? Is is this anti-LGBT? Is everything that that they disagree with just hate? Amidst the chaotic backlash that inspired multiple trending hashtags on Twitter, Popular streamer Dr. Disrespect has publicly severed ties with Call of Duty. Tim the Tatman, another creator who also had a bundle available for purchase in Call of Duty, has asked that his skin also be removed, choosing, eventually, to stand in solidarity with a friend, likely after factoring in the sentiment of his audience. It should be worth noting that the most recent Call of Duty launched incomplete, and even though no country flags were available, uh, the trans and identity flags, of course, were immediately ready to go. Ironic and hypocritical, since these were censored in other versions of the game, so that in their parts of the world, sales would not be compromised. Because that's what Call of Duty cares about. Money. And just as Disney thanked China for allowing them to use areas near slave camps, Call of Duty's courageous Pride Month virtue signaling fails. Hilariously, falling flat as people like me can't help but compare this eye-roll-worthy stupidity to the blunders of Bud Light as of late. As someone who chooses not to filter myself, I find what annoys and infuriates these types in the industry is the fact that people like you and me have choice. I don't beg you to like and subscribe. You can do that of your own accord. Disagree with them and you're a bigot. No matter how foolish or factually incorrect their assertions may be, Quote unquote games journalists like Stacy Hendley of the failing The Gamer website is upset over things like Cammy's alternate outfit. Alternate! You have to choose to put this on. Cammy's outfit allows the equality of showing as much skin as her male counterparts. But these hypocritical losers thirsting over men have a big meltdown when it's digital women ruining their chances at passing. If that's not enough, now the gamer is also mad at Megan Fox for appearing in a Diablo commercial. Why? Mainly because Megan Fox and Cammy represent something that this journalist will never be no matter how much they try. But also, they're mad because it doesn't suit their specific taste. So naturally, no one else should be able to enjoy it. The unquestionably appealing Megan Fox was chosen to promote Diablo 4. Blizzard may suck, but this was an intelligent decision. And Diablo's quality is exactly why I've ceased publishing videos, at least for a bit. I'm not reading you another eulogy. How many times have you died so far? Take a bathroom break. Get a snack. Can you do us all a favor and stop dying? The stunning Megan Fox seen here in a flattering, form accentuating outfit is going to roast gamers when they die. How cool is that? 
Based beta testers might naturally liken this to the Arkham series, where when Batman would die in that game after the player fails, the enemies, your Joker, your, your Poison Ivy, they would stoop over Batman for a figurative tea bag, a satisfying jab from a villain for your silly little failure. Gamers don't just like this, we love it. We love punishment. Real gamers need to overcome. The Barbarian in Diablo has been nerfed over 15 times. Have I started up an alt character? No, I will overcome. That's not an exaggeration. Unimpressed girlfriend pointing and laughing at your death is treatment someone right now is paying for on OnlyFans, making some girl a millionaire in her bedroom. As a marketing campaign, it's everything it needs to be in that it is successful. I'm talking about it right now, and so is Stacy Henley, who immediately after being triggered by an optional outfit in a fighting game, is now writing articles about Megan Fox bad. How many times are we gonna do this? Y'all remember Frosk? And how that led to Amaranth? You can say things, but the money talks. Never forget the soy-soaked side of the gaming industry, the naughty dogs, the Mortal Kombats these days, refuse equality when it pertains to attractive women because it threatens trans chances. Jeff Keighley's Game Awards and other like-minded weirdos in the gaming industry are more willing to literally celebrate boobs on a man than they would be for women to do anything other than cover up. This equality is only for men and men with wigs, not women. Mortal Kombat says blood and gore, of course, but women? <laughs> you better put something on, honey. You people are so stupid. You're taking the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park. Dove Soap wants to partner with Unreal Engine to moan about how there isn't enough fat and ugly representation in video games, but to date, in the half a decade that Fortnite has operated, with over 24 seasons having elapsed, with over 1,600 skins, only one big girl character is on offer. One. I own it, I'd know. Even though there are other gorgeous women in what the game calls its constructor build class waiting in the abandoned save the world mode, ready to just port right over into Battle Royale, but Epic does not include them. It's as if they're not worth the effort, maybe they don't make money. In fact, when Penny, the one bigger girl, was finally allowed to join Fortnite's BR mode, they covered her up. They covered her cleavage up. Because of course, women better be censored. Fun for men only. This is their definition of diversity. And if you disagree, I guess you're a bigot. You've no idea how hilarious it is watching these Hogwarts Legacy boycotter types fail, some of them being forced to apologize to Rowling. Pull your goddamn pants up, man. Advertisements like Megan Fox teasing is a recognition and celebration of the audience who loves gaming. If it's fan service and you despise it, go back to failing. Like your Velma shows, like your She-Hulk nightmare, like the comic industry. But manga is going to keep giving people what they want. And we'll have fun with this playful, harmless, joyous experience. Megan Fox is a grown woman, cognizant of her own actions, and capable of rational thought. If what Megan has claimed... And the making of Jennifer's body is true, she is seizing the power available to her to inform, educate, and actually make a goddamn difference. She puts hard work into her body and appearance. Like anyone else in show business, investing money into food for diets, chefs, fitness coaches, life coaches, potential surgeries, etc. Because it's their job. 
not looking good, but looking great, is their job. The work they do is hard work, and it's actual work. These companies, studios, brands, and publications never represented the interests of the consumers, enthusiasts, or fans that they're infiltrating the industries of. But the one thing you'd assume they accidentally align with our interests in trying to establish is money. But it seems like they don't even care about making that anymore.